Hi guys, uh, this is Posh and we're going to help you out with some of your ear taping troubles. Um, there's a couple different ways to do it, but from the looks of your puppy, the picture she sent, I think you'll be able to do it with just the chin strap. Um, so you'll need some tape and all I'm using is a medical tape. So it's a clear plastic porous tape. It rips really, really easily. Um, you just tear it kind of at the seams. I don't know if you can see that very well there or not. Um, I'll send you a picture of that after. Um, and you'll just need two pieces of it um, for the ears. And it's helpful if you have the pieces ready before you get the puppy out, just so you're all set to go. Um, and some treats to keep them occupied a little bit. Um, so you'll need one longer piece, sort of about that long, and then one shorter piece that's gonna go there. Um, and they're just going to connect the ears underneath the chin so that they pull them flat down like this um, to get rid of the crease that's folding off to the side. Because um, we want them to lay nice and flat forward. Yes, hi baby. So, come here Poshie, come, sit up, sit up. Good girl. <clears throat> so all you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the ear on top of the puppy's head like this. And with your long piece of tape, um, you're gonna tape it sticky side down to the inside skin part of their ear, starting at about that crease that it forms um, when the ear is flipped over the top of the head. So you stick that on and pull it right down to the point of the ear. I don't know how well you can see that there. Maybe in a little closer, maybe. <clears throat> So we've got the tape on inside of the ear and then we just kind of, you know, pat it down a little bit so that it sticks in there. Um, another thing that you can do is kind of rub the ear clean with a little bit of rubbing alcohol first and let it dry. The tape will stick a little bit better. Um, then, Poshy, sit up here for a second. Here, Poshy. <clears throat> here. So now that that is hanging with the tape there, we're going to just swing it all the way around her chin and it's gonna to connect to roughly about the same spot on the opposite ear. She's gonna be difficult here because I just pulled her in from outside. So if you can see her head now, she's got her ears pinned underneath her chin and they're both pulled forward like that. Um, the second piece of tape, all it's gonna do is it's gonna cover, because this is now sticky side up on the bottom of her chin. Um, so the second piece of tape is just gonna cover that up so that it doesn't stick to either her or skin or anything outside and I do put it on just the very tip of the ear on the outside too just so that it stays a little bit better so she's very bitey right now so that's why the treats are helpful it's it's her playtime and she's not impressed that I drug her in to do this so I just stick that on and stick it all the way underneath her chin and if it's a little bit too long, the nice thing about this tape is, is that it just tears right off really quickly. So that's about it for the taping. It's actually pretty straightforward to do that. This is the chin strap part. Um, and as you can see, if I can get her to look forward at the camera here, she's got her ears pinned and you can see the tape underneath her chin and it's not tight. Like I can get quite a few fingers underneath there. Her ears can move around a little bit. Um, they're not overly bothered by this. Um, if she's a little bit upset about it at first, just give her something yummy to chew on and she'll sort of forget about it. Um, so yeah, this is not stuck to anything underneath here. It's pretty loose, you can kind of see that now. But it's pulling the ears forward. It just adds some weight to it. So try that way first um, and see how you make out.